Hi, I'm John. This is my vlog, and yep, here we go. So yeah, some things that have been on my mind this week. Um, Ender's Game. So, if you don't know, Ender's Game is a science fiction novel written by Orson Scott Card, and the book is really, really good. And Orson Scott Card is really, really awful. He's really just the worst. He's racist and homophobic, and hates women, and he is a bigot, and he's just awful. So a film adaptation of Ender's Game was released this weekend, starring Harrison Ford and Austin Butterfield, I think is his name. I don't know. People have said, I'm not going to see this movie because I don't want to give Orson Scott Card money. Now I appreciate not wanting to give Orson Scott Card money because, as previously mentioned, he's like the worst. But the problem is, have you ever watched the credits of a film? You see all those names? They would like money too. Especially because Ender's Game has a potential to have a sequel should this film be successful, you're costing those people, who probably aren't bigots, jobs. And some of the higher ups who are not Orson Scott Card are going to make money dependent on how well this movie is received, and you're costing them money, and they're probably not bigots either. This kind of talks to a larger issue, um, how much we feel authors are responsible for adaptations of their work. It varies when you have someone like Steven Schmotsky, who wrote and directed the film version of his book, a lot. But then, as John Green has frequently said about The Fault in Our Stars, it's not his movie. Basically, at the end of the day, a lot more people's ideas and work and effort went into creating the Ender's Game film. It won the box office this weekend. So maybe this whole boycotting it because of how awful Orson Scott Card thing isn't a big issue. However, if you are boycotting it because of Orson Scott Card, think of all the other people you are hurting by not going to see the film. And at the end of the day, I truly believe that money will not be the deciding factor of social justice, and that ultimately we will come to a period in our society where what is right will win out. If that makes me an idealist, sorry. In an earlier video, I talked about registering for classes for the first semester at USC, and how it was kind of stressful and I felt put in a box. Well, this semester, it was a whole lot worse. Like last semester, this semester we had a lot of required courses we had to take. However, unlike last semester, we had some choices within there, especially over who we wanted to take. So I had to decide which of the people, for instance for our feature screenwriting class, which of the five people teaching that I wanted to have class with, which choices. Plus, for our TV spec writing class, we had to decide whether we wanted to take comedy or drama. If you're doing your thesis in feature, isn't really that big of a deal. Which one do you like more? Blah. But if you're doing your thesis in TV, you have to have taken the drama class to do a TV drama thesis, and taken the comedy class to do a TV comedy thesis. So I was really in a place where I had to decide, do I want to write comedy or drama? It's really tricky when things are divided on these genre lines, because I don't really feel like I fit in with either of them, 100%. I don't write grimdark, and I don't write farce. I ultimately decided, in case you're wondering, to take hour-long drama, because I think the size of my stories fits in there better. The kind of space I like to fill is more suited to an hour-long show. And then as far as who I'm taking, they're all good. I decided not to stress about it, but it was a bit of a, a bit of an event. Everyone trying to register for classes. Um, it's over now. I'll let you know how it goes. I don't really have anything else to talk about. I do have ideas for next week's video, which are going to be fun and exciting. So yeah, do the things of positivity if you feel the need to, and if not, I'm going to cry about it a lot tonight. A lot. Okay, bye!